I don't think they should be willing to move on from Dak, even though he is somewhere between six and 10 or 11 as far as quarterbacks. But if see, the thing is, if they let him play out this year and they don't win the Super Bowl, it's not like they can't resign him as a free agent. When I first started seeing these reports, I was like, look, they got to sign him. You don't want to go from that five, six year stretch where you were between Troy Aikman and Tony Romo and you're just searching for a quarterback. Yeah. I want to keep Dak. Okay, but if this year it's 60 million a year, Kirk Cousins, now he just got 45 million. Yes. So what if they let Dak play on this prove it year? They go out in the second round again. He's okay, whatever. But they want to bring him back. They let him enter free agency. Is somebody giving him 60 million a year? The most he might get would might be 52 million a year. So you you're better off signing him next year as a free agent, I think. Unless you win the Super Bowl and you're willing to pay him whatever. So it, financially it could make sense.